Opening day in Detroit now just hours away, but before you head downtown tomorrow, we have important information you need to know about parking and the people preying on you and your money. Yeah, they're in preseason form out there. Seven investigator Jonathan Carlson live downtown tonight with what you need to watch out for. Jonathan? Yeah, guys, good evening to you. Uh, maybe this bad weather will keep the crooks away, right? Probably not. But before you head into the ballpark tomorrow, don't let some phony parking attendants throw you a foul ball. The ballpark quiet before opening day, but expect it and surrounding lots to be packed Friday with fans and those looking to take advantage of them. It's always a significant operation. Um, we'll be sufficiently staffed as we always are. Chief James Craig says his officers will be working traffic flow, out of control drunks, and will keep an eye out for criminals, but they'll be busy and say it's partly up to you to watch out for scammers. So we have you covered. And these guys are getting good at what they do. Norm White with the city's parking department tells us who's legit and who isn't. Here are some headline tips. Legal lot attendants should have a license on them, signage, and their price clearly marked. Last year, a band of thieves gave out fake parking slips, took cash, and took off. Don't pay anyone cash to park at the curb or a metered space. If you have a suspicion that the, someone's operating a legal lot, we want to give you a couple of numbers you can call and we're at the ready to respond to it. Scams aside, here are some more don'ts. Don't park in front of a hydrant, a building entrance, a driveway, a bus stop. DPD has a zero tolerance for that and you'll be towed. If using a meter, use the Park Detroit mobile app. You can extend the time from inside the stadium. You should park in marked lots with an attendant. However, the city tells Action News they won't be ticketing this year in vacant lots. But that doesn't mean the owners won't have you towed. Finally, DPD says hide valuables. Again, police will be sidetracked with enforcement. And those valuables targeted, some might find surprising. Well, one, you guys out. if you're a CPL holder, you don't want to bring your gun down here. I mean, that's one. We oftentimes get too many reports of weapons being stolen out of parked vehicles. So here are those numbers the city parking department mentioned should you spot scammers. 313-224-3178 or 313-224-3179. And the city says they will have parking enforcement officers out and about tomorrow to quickly respond if you do spot those scammers. I'll also be out here tomorrow tracking those guys down as well. Stephen? Now as quick as you guys are, they're pretty quick, those thieves. Yeah, you know, they've been known in the past to set up shop out here in these parking lots, collect money, give some uh, faulty parking tabs, and then they just pack up and head on to the next lot before the cops or parking officials can actually get down here to catch them. Got to move fast so then. Thank you, Jonathan, yeah. very much.